La Champions! The Champions League is back. We're very excited. Uh, I know uh, we've been talking before, you know, what's more important, the league or the Champions? I think both. There you go. <laughs> so uh, it's time to wear the Champions League suit, which for Real Madrid is a very uh, luxurious suit. It's a tuxedo. <laughs> I have something in my eye. It's not a rental, but uh, yeah. Uh, let's talk about how Real Madrid get to the game through the lineup. Uh, we think. Finally, we're going to see now that we have all the squad available, but Keylor Navas or Coentrao. Besides Keylor Navas, we're going to see Casilla on goal, there's no yes. doubt. We think it's going to be the Once de Gala, the, you know, the, the deluxe starting lineup. The deluxe. We're going to see uh, Pepe and Ramos. Pepe and Ramos. Uh, Carvajal. Al Marcelo, who's back from the Fecha FIFA, and uh, he had some rest against Osasuna. We didn't really need him. And then in the midfield, Casemiro, Kroos, and Modric. Casemiro, and I'm happy to see Casemiro back in the lineup. I mean, he's a player that we know, we now we know, we need. We had great performances in the South American qualifiers, rested for Osasuna, so I'm happy to see him back with Kroos pushing up a little bit more offensive because I think Kroos and Modric have started out this season really strong and Kroos is really, uh, I'm, I'm really liking him this season. Yeah, me too. And uh, it's something we talked about last season. Maybe Kroos had uh, moments or lagoons, mental lagoons, lagoons where he wasn't that <laughs> sharp. Peaks but we've seen valleys. a very, like, with a cross on edge yes. and always Modric and up top I think it is time now for Benzema to start this is yeah. I don't think it'll be a statement like you know like no. signaling or pointing Morata out no, or anything like think, that but I think being as we are the, the champions of Europe we need to come to this match with sort of the team that won the Champions League and and with the strongest team possible to make a statement because we can't come into the group phase as having won the Champions League tying or losing it's not acceptable it is true, I don't think, yeah, I you know, ab absolutely agree. So I think we're going to see Cristiano, Bale and Benzema. And uh, hopefully this will be a team of uh, enough guarantees to win this game. And I think it, I think it will be. I mean, we've, we've got such a offensive prowess. I think Bale is playing amazingly uh, starting this season. I, I loved his work rate in the last match against Osasuna. Contributing he, a lot on yes, defense as well. Exactly, working both on and off the ball. Benzema is finally back. He had a long rest for the summer. Um, he's ready, he should be ready to play and should be ready to show us what he's capable of doing, that he's ready to contribute to this team, score goals, that he's serious, and that he's not just in there because of his uh, friendship with Benzema. I mean Benzema, with Sisu. There you go. And uh, well, to talk about sporting, it's the first say uh, a lot of people would say, oh, it's a weak team, but it's not. It's a champion of Portugal. Mm -hmm. And uh, they started the league very strong. They've won their first four games, 12 points. Actually, they beat Oporto two weeks ago, uh, the Oporto of Iker Casillas. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think they have some interesting tools. Mm -hmm. Let's say Rui Patricio is the starting goalkeeper Great for Portugal, the uh, champion of Europe. And uh, William Carvalho is one of the players you Galacticos have been asking a lot in the summers, like we should sign him, I don't know why, but <laughs> he's there. And uh, also Joel Campbell, the Costa Rican, uh, the Costa Rican uh, striker, who's very fast. Quick. And I think, you know, normally Sporting will be at the mercy. I just learned that from Ashley uh, before starting. <laughs> Uh, at the mercy of Real Madrid, and you know, maybe just hoping or counting on uh, Joel Campbell's quickness uh, for any maybe productive counter attacks. Right. And we do have to be careful with that because, as we saw against Osasuna, we and Aino you know, in the last season, we are susceptible to counters. Sometimes they catch us off guard, not not uh, defending or on our on our heels, as they would say. No. So I think you know, if anything, we need to be careful with Joel Campbell with the quick counter attacks, which I think a lot of teams have seen that might be our weakness. Yeah. Uh, with that, but I, I think even though. I think we'll still come out on top. Oh yeah, okay. yeah, for sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the prediction. I'm gonna go with a three-one. Three-one. I don't think it's gonna be a goal fest, and yeah. I, I do think they, they will score on us, even though I don't like to say it. But three-one. And actually, we're starting with the same. Uh, what are those called? Prognostic. Prediction. Pred Jeez, Louis. We're starting Prognostic with the same. negative. <laughs> We're starting with the same prediction. I was also thinking of 3-1. I think that they could get a goal scored on us, like we said, with a quick counter or just, you know, catching us off sleeping a little bit in defense, maybe on a corner. But I still think that our offense, our offensive prowess, and with the players coming off the bench, because we still got James, Isco, Isco is back, Atencio, yeah. and uh, Morata. Hopefully Morata can get a goal this game. Um, so 3-1 is what I think. So 3-1, 3-1. Let us know what you think Galacticos is going to happen. Are you excited to have the Champions yes, League back? I'm so excited. She is. I am too. And uh, Mateo behind the camera is too. So uh, give us a like and subscribe. You know, tick. And uh, tick. we'll see you tomorrow. Just like this. Yeah, you need to subscribe like this. Tick. <laughs> and I uh, will see you tomorrow.